What's going on? I'm Ty I'm a musician from New York City, and you're watching ChannelAPA.com. Well, I guess when I was around 13, like 8th, uh, ninth grade, uh, neighborhood kids, and, and also kids in my high school, in my school, um, it seemed like a lot of kids I, I knew, maybe it was because I was a basketball player, or I don't know what, but a lot of kids I knew, they were just really into hip-hop, and uh, they were really into MCing and rhyming and, and beatboxing, and I, just like a lot of kids, I just got caught up in, in the whole thing of that, you know, so uh, that was really my introduction, I guess, to say, to say music making, and then, you know, I just fell into more kinds of music and, and other kinds of uh, art and performance. It was really just, you know, like being a young teenager in New York City, man, you're just surrounded by, by hip-hop, and uh, I just fell into that just the same. I do different kinds of music. It depends on who I'm working with or what project I'm, I'm doing. You know, um, I, I do I do the straight up hip hop type stuff, um, but then I also do like acoustic, more live music type soul stuff or acoustic stuff. So it depends. It's it's within that range of uh, something really pared down and, and rootsy and acoustic to to live band stuff to to the hip hop type stuff. So it ranges in that spectrum. The lovely video has been, been amazing. It's been incredible. Um, well, the, the song and, and the album have been out for a year or something. And then uh, I did this, this big this event in Philadelphia where the Asian Arts Initiative, uh, which is this great community arts organization in Philly, they uh, had a grand reopen and I uh, performed there and um, one of the guys there who's, who's he's been a, a, an educator there and a director there, uh, Gary St. Angel, who's like an old time you know, theater and, and, f and filmmaker from New York City and LA and he, he saw me perform the song and he just really felt it and really loved it and, and he, he wanted to do the music video. And it was perfect because different people that approached me in the past about doing a music video for that song, but you know Gary really was the right, he was the perfect person, and um, he took this great approach of just working with the community in Philadelphia uh, to bring their own their own sense of the song. And uh, Gary, you know, if you want more in depth, you got to talk to Gary, and he really, he really. Uh, put his heart on it, you know, it's, it's amazing. Well, we had known each other for a while. We had a lot of mutual friends. And, uh, like, I, I, I met Teresa at, at a wedding, like, way back in, like, oh, six or something. Um, but it wasn't until they moved to New York City and they, they started things here that, that I got to meet with them and work with them more. Um, we did a show at Columbia, I think, almost two years ago now. And then um, it was there where I was like, man, their, their music's, in terms of their, their soul, in terms of like their, their content, you know what I mean? It's kind of similar to mine. They're, they're, very, they're speaking from a very honest perspective about who they are. You know, uh, about a being Asian American or being not Asian American. You know, this is coming from a very real perspective that I thought um, was kind of similar to mine. And I thought, man, you know, we have a lot of mutual friends anyway. You know, we run in the same circles anyway. We should be working together. And, uh, you know, we started working on one song. I got mine, and that popped off. And, and then Summertime came out. And it, was, it was one thing after another, and then uh, it, it just came. It was a real natural chemistry. Yeah, now we got this uh, full-length album coming out real soon. Well, the Super Series has been uh, a monthly performance series for uh, Asian American artists, both emerging and established uh, in the area, but also nationally. Artists come from all over all the time. Um, dude, we've been, we're on our fifth year now. I can't believe it. We're on our fifth year doing this. 
Well, I mean, the last, last ever since I was a teenager, you know, I've been involved with, with putting together different events in New York City. But the Super Series has been um, it's been ongoing for like this is our fifth year. I can't believe it. And uh, it, it's just well, I, I'm, I'm the artistic director. It's kind of a very loose group. I mean, I wouldn't put too much into that, but you know, I oversee everything. Um, sometimes I directly curate it. Sometimes uh, you know. I'll, We'll let we'll, we'll bring in other artists or other people, other organizations to put together the events. Um, but I just help help run the whole thing, uh, make make sure it's running smoothly. And uh, it's a monthly s series that brings out a lot of great different Asian American artists. And uh, for mo most of the time, it's for a cause, like a benefit for an organization. Uh, well, Asian America is the longest running. Uh, I think TV show about Asian Americans. Um, it's been going on for like almost two decades, and um, it, it's it's on WNYC, which is Channel 25 in the area. Everybody has it. Um, it's not public access; it's public television. So it's like syndicated by PBS uh, uh, on certain times, and but it's on Channel 25 every Sunday night at 7:30. Um, that's just something I, I got tapped to, to host and, and be a part of um, just through uh, a mutual friend with the producer of the show. And uh, it's just, it's basically ex like an extension of the Sulu series. Um, you know, I, I'm just basically interviewing friends. I'm interviewing um, the many different talented artists, artists that there are in the New York City area and, and beyond. And uh, it's just a fun gig, you know. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, I, I get to, I get, I get paid to, to interview um, these amazing actors and filmmakers and musicians and writers. You know, uh, it's a cool show. You know, I, I like to compare it to like, like our own like Tavis Smiley type of show or like a Charlie Rose type of deal. Except you know, it's just thirty minutes. Yeah, well, things have been a little quiet. You know, with the. Uh, Magnetic North Taiwan album. We haven't put that much pre PR in front of it uh, about it because uh, well, we're working on it. <laughs> we're working on it. We're like we're like just a few songs away of just uh, finishing it. Like um, Derek and Teresa, they got like they got like one more song to write. And, um, it's just a few more weeks. We will get the PR going. Um, we got a couple music videos coming out for that, and so like maybe mid to late April. Maybe top of May if we're really just, uh, just, just you know, caught up with stuff. We'll have the new Magnetic North Taiwan. We're excited about.